finishes in the bottom of the 11th and all of a sudden it's back to the top of the order. Do you recover what, what, what's going through your head? It felt awesome, you know. It, like credit to them for turning the lineup over too, you know. Like that doesn't happen without them doing that. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. That's, that was unreal. <laughs> that was crazy. You didn't look too happy about what happened in the ninth. What did you take out of that and then apply in the eleventh? Well, I I wasn't seeing like his fastball and his uh, curveball were coming out of the same arm slot, so it was like tough to pick up pitch. So I kind of just told myself to relax and trust my eye at first because. I don't swing at that pitch normally, that the one that I struck out on. So I kind of had that in the back of my mind that, you know, uh, don't press. You know, you see them fine. So. Yeah. What did uh, kind of the coaches tell you before you go up to that at bat? Uh, not much. I mean, just get it done. You know, runners on first and second. You don't need a home run in that situation. I'll just go in for a hit and uh, try to put a good bat uh, bat together. But uh, yeah, not much. Like, what were your thoughts, not only when you're coming into the game, but after you leave uh, your second inning of work, having um, pitched two scoreless innings? Um, you know, I, I went up to Cat and I was like, let me finish this game out, let me do it. And he's like, no, we're going to need you tomorrow. And I was like, damn. But um, yeah, it was a little, I felt a little rushed out of the bullpen. I was like, uh, I kind of was stretching, and then I got up really quick, and then got in the game. But um, once I got in the game and I threw a couple pitches, I was like, all right. I'm gonna finish this game out. I'm gonna win the win the game for us. So um, I'm glad uh, Brady and Eric came in and just shut it down for us. So uh, just happy that uh, we uh, and Torque. So uh, yeah, I'm happy. How yeah. do you? The first batter you faced, you fell behind 3-0, right? Uh, when you first came in. Um, I yes, <laughs> yeah. How do you keep that from from rattling you when you come in? You fall behind like that with the bases loaded. I think I just, sometimes when I go in there, I'm just like, I'm gonna kind of aim it, like I'm gonna throw a fastball outside. And I was just kind of like, you know, I just need to throw it, don't don't think about it. And, um, you know, just throw strikes that can't hit me, so kind of worked out in my favor. So, got a little lucky, but, you know, it's baseball. Way up in the air. I mean, what, yeah. what were you just feeling coming around? Yeah, I didn't think that was a little much. Was it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it was kind of, yeah, that was expected. But uh, I don't know. I kind of blacked out a little bit. <laughs> like, it was just so much like adrenaline and excitement that it, was, it had to be done. Yeah, it was like, it was like it was. For, for all three of you, or any of the three of you, it was a really back and forth game, more back and forth than you guys have really played at any point this season. So as, as the game's progressing, what's going through your head? Do we're j I, I, in my personal opinion, I just think that we just keep doing our thing. Don't don't let the score dictate like how you're gonna pitch, how you're gonna how you're gonna play. You're just gonna keep doing what we've been doing for the past nine games. So I don't think it really affected us that much. I didn't think we were pressing. Um, we got a lot of like veteran guys and guys who played last year that know what to like. They've been through this so. Kind of experience, so just play our game, kind of thing. Yeah, pretty much same thing. Just focus on what we can do, and not what they can do, and eventually uh, we'll be the better team at the end, no matter who's on the other side. Spencer, have you been trying to drive the ball a little bit more in the last couple of games? You know, you've been getting a lot of base hits. The, the power coming around. Yeah, I'm just uh, taking what they're giving me. You know, they're they're going soft and then away, and they're not giving me that meatball to hit really so it's just staying confident and uh, staying with my approach because the power numbers will come with just staying to with my approach. What have you noticed about how guys are kind of pitching to you now is it a lot of like outside stuff to, to try and get you to go off of or? It's a little bit of everything okay. you know uh, they kind of shift that second baseman over so you kind of know it's they might not go outside that bad but sometimes they do you know it's kind of just a you never, I don't, I never really know what pitch I'm going to get and what count. They kind of mix it up pretty good. You mentioned that after your first home run, that it was kind of like a monkey off your back. When those power numbers aren't coming, like, how do you kind of just go about it normally without kind of worrying about last year, or worrying about any of that? Yeah, I mean, you can't. It's tough to repeat that. And you can't uh, try to be that because your expectation is always going to be higher than what you can actually do, probably. You know, because my expectations are. To hit a home run every at bat, but I can't do that. So uh, I 
don't know, I just stay with my approach and relax and trust in my work ethic and having fun playing baseball. What was it like when Miles made that throw back to home? So um, I, yeah, it was a thrill, definitely. I mean, when he caught that ball and threw it in, the throw was perfectly on point, and once a uh, ferry caught it, we got it. I, I knew we had him, and it was just an unbelievable moment, and we had the momentum on the bottom half of the inning, and we came out on top, so. What was your thought on that ball after that? Uh, oh, snap. Oh, uh, oh shoot. <laughs> And then I, I saw it was not too, it wasn't deep, it was kind of a little bit shallow on the more shallow end. And uh, Biles has been hot right now, offensively and defensively. And I knew, I, I had no doubt in my mind that he wouldn't. I knew it would be close, and he made a perfect throw, and Ferry got it and tagged him, and the rest is history. What's your thought coming into such a tough game? It's again been back and forth uh, from the top line. Um, I was thinking pound the zone. Uh, like I always think about, just really focus on hitting the glove. And if I do that, I'll get contact. And then when I get two strikes, try to throw that strikeout pitch. And really just try to get my offense to get as many at-bats as possible. So once I get three outs, I want them to be out on offense as much as, as, much as possible. Yeah. So Eric, when you throw three innings, almost 40 pitches, how long will it take you to get back to like full stamina after an outing like tonight? Um, probably three days, two or three days, and then I'll be good to go again. I mean, it's today was like my bullpen day, and I had to throw 20 to 35 pitches, and so it's pretty much like the same thing. You mentioned like you're looking for the second baseman shifting over because you know maybe they won't throw outside. Is that stuff that you learn by just kind of a, um, a better approach in like the video room <coughs> and going over more stuff like that? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of Sometimes common sense because it's like if they're not putting a second yeah. baseman right there, they might not throw me a pitch to hit right there, so they might be coming in that at bat. I don't know. It's it's confusing. I try not to think too much about it. I just try to hit. But yeah. Anything else? Yeah, um, Spencer. Just given what happened last year, what, what what's your big takeaway from just being ten and zero at this point? Oh, this is this is awesome. You know. This is what it's supposed to feel like. We come into the clubhouse every day and we expect to win. And if we somehow don't win, it, it's we're gonna have a bad feeling in our stomachs and it's gonna feel really weird and we're not gonna like it. So, you know, it's, we come to the clubhouse expecting to win. Like in the ninth inning or uh, whatever it was, when the bases were loaded, two outs, I think it was, 10th inning, whatever. But uh, we we're like, we're gonna win this game. You know, we're, no matter what, we're gonna win it. And that's how, that's how winning teams think. All right, thanks guys.